conversation are you supposed to be having? Just uh, if I'm a little bit stressed here and, uh, you know, uh, because of work and things like that, and maybe mm -hmm. I'm thinking of, I, I'm, you know, driven to the edge. I need a little bit of counseling, but I cannot get to this particular point mm -hmm. in terms of getting somebody that I can trust. How do we build trust around as a society in mm -hmm. just making sure that people get to open up? What would you say? Uh, I'll say first, we remove the stigma mm -hmm. associated with mental health. And apart from that, when you, when you have something that is disturbing you, open up. Actually, we always say that speak out, but I think we don't provide a conducive environment yeah. for those people to open up. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you see, like if I compare mental health with HIV AIDS, mm -hmm. In HIV, there's confidentiality, mm -hmm. but in mental health, there's no confidentiality whereby you can go to an, to an hospital, mm -hmm. maybe you want to see a psychologist or a psychiatrist mm -hmm. to seek help. Then you meet so, some, like a healthcare worker, you try to, exp to maybe to explain to her or him, mm -hmm. I need to see a psychologist or a psychiatrist, because mm -hmm. it is the most neglected aspect of health. Mm -hmm. Maybe this person will tell you, you want to see that Dr. Wawendawazimu. Okay. So you will be, like your self-esteem will be hindered, okay. and you'll be like, if I'm receiving such a message from this person, what if uh, the, maybe I reach to that person mm -hmm. who really needs to attend to me? Mm -hmm. How will it work? So like the moment we are, try we are saying that that's why we need to create more awareness mm -hmm. also to the healthcare workers and also to our clients. Okay. We have more, you know, like that's why I said we should be having some things like token. Mm -hmm. when, some, when a client comes, like there's a way we appreciate them first you appreciate their presence for coming mm -hmm. then you listen to them and then another thing we do like the medics we we try most we don't listen to our clients we we look more into books mm -hmm. and that's where most misdiagnosis uh, misdiagnosis ca comes in mm -hmm. whereby you will not listen to what your client tells you mm -hmm. you will really it's called uh to jump into conclusion. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll jump into conclusion mm -hmm. because of what you know, the knowledge you have, mm -hmm. not because of the experience you have, but mm -hmm. the knowledge you have. Like we don't give priority okay. to so, mental health. So you just, somebody comes and they tell you this exactly how I'm feeling and they're like, okay, mm -hmm. now I believe this is, I have a rush here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this one mm -hmm. could be an allergy or something like that. And mm -hmm. maybe it's something that is actually building up and things like that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Like we don't give, like I'll say, we need to give more priority to mental health. We need to give more time, like, we need really we really need to create more awareness okay. on mental health okay yes let's talk about this awareness creating mm -hmm. how do we do this how do we do this because mm -hmm. to some extent i i believe uh there's been these campaigns and all that but are we getting the message home do you believe we, we are doing that i think because we have been having mental health awareness campaigns mm -hmm. but they are not that often okay not like that for hiv aids mm -hmm. because we have like in